Today I'm going to show you how to hide behind a tree so you can get your tree creep, tree creep, tree creep, tree creep, bone, tree creep, tree creep. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik, back on your screen with another gem for Power Director University. Today I'm gonna to show you how to hide behind a tree, a wall, or a pole. It's a really simple effect to do. Let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Cyberlink Power Director 14 Ultimate. Let me clue you in on how you need to shoot the scene first. You want to place your recording device of choice on a tripod or have it in a stable position where it does not move at all. Hit record and just record the scene with nothing going on in it. That means the tree by itself, the pole by itself, whatever. Record that for about 30 seconds. Leave your device recording. Do not stop it. Just let it keep recording. And then after 30 seconds of just recording the scene, record yourself or your talent walking across the backside of the pole or walking on the other side of the wall or the tree or whatever it is you're doing. The reason why you need to do that is because you want to try to keep the scene as similar as possible, meaning the shadows being the same, the light being the same, everything being as close to the original scene as possible so that they blend together easily. Once you have those two scenes together, this is what you get to do. All right, so I have my two clips in my library already. So I'm gonna pull down the clip of the talent walking and I'm gonna put that in uh, the timeline track one. And then I'm gonna pull down the clip of the tree and nothing going on in that scene. And I'm gonna bring that down in the timeline track two. Now I'm going to click on the clip of the tree I'm gonna left click on it and then I'm gonna click on modify. And I'm gonna to go to the mask tab. So I'm gonna select a mask and I'm gonna select this one. And I'm gonna scroll down to the object setting section and there is a check mark in this box it says maintain mask aspect ratio. I'm gonna uncheck that because I do not want it to maintain the aspect ratio. So now I'm going to left click and drag this mask and move it over. And then I'm gonna place my cursor here on this grab point until there's just two arrows. I'm gonna left click, hold my mouse down and I'm gonna drag this over to the left until it's centered over the tree or centered where I want it over the tree anyway. And I think that's good there. So if I click on play, we should see individual walk out of the tree. Now, if one side is, let's say darker than the other, or one side is brighter than the other, you can fix that. So what I'm going to do first is click on save. And let's say that I can see a line in between the two different scenes and I need to brighten one up or darken one up. So let's say the, this scene here, the one where he's walking is darker. So I can click on fix enhance. And then if I click on color adjustment, I can change the brightness to make them match up so that you can't see a line in between the two scenes. And if I like that the way it is, then I just close it out. And that's it people. Real easy. Walking out of a pole in Cyberlink Power Director 14 Ultimate. If you like the content that I'm bringing to you, do me a favor, click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction, comments. 
Leave me a comment. If you need help, I will get back with you. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction so you can get the help that you need. And last, but definitely not least, subscribe. If you want to see Power Director goodness like this on a regular basis, you got to subscribe so that you know when I upload videos. So subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again soon.